Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ when the question is in front of you. What is the major product of this reaction? So you can understand this is actually trifluorotoluin undergo reaction with this concentrate sulfuric acid and nitric acid mixture means this combination is called as mix acid and it results in nitration reaction. So you can see one, two, three and four nitro derivatives are produced. Now you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. Since it's a nitration reaction or aromatic electrophilic substitution, how the electrophile, I mean NO2 plus is generated. In this case, actually this concentrate sulfuric acid acting as acid because it is a stronger acid and this nitric acid is a weaker. So in this case, in this mixture, it will act as base. So concentrate sulfuric acid will release H plus and it will produce HSO4 minus that H plus will be consumed by the nitric acid. Now, if you look at the nitric acid, it has actually three oxygen. So protonation will takes place at oxygen number three. Why? Because the logically one, two and three, three position possible. So here one and two here also protonation possible, but that will not have a fate. But if the protonation takes place at position 3, it will result in electrophile generation. How? So these negative charge can push and it will go. By the way, this will be a positive charge on nitrogen. So it will result in a NO2 plus cation. Now what is the structure of NO2? This is the structure, linear structure where nitrogen is carrying the positive charge. So you can say this nitrogen center is actually electrophilic electron deficient. So it will participate in nitration reaction or aromatic electrophilic substitution. Now in this reaction, since concentrated sulfuric acid is present, why sulfonation doesn't take place? Because reaction of concentrated sulfuric acid with nitric acid generates this electrophile. And remember, this electrophile generation is a consequence of acid-base reaction followed by dehydration. It is faster. Now, if you take only sulfuric acid, since there is no other option, that time sulfonation takes place from the pure sulfuric acid. I guess your doubt may be clear from this point. Now, this NO2 plus is generated as the electrophile. Now, question where the nitration will take place. By the way, nitration will take place in the meta position. Okay, so you'll have a meta nitro trifluorotoluene. Question five. Actually, this CF3 is a strongly electron withdrawing group through sigma bond. So it is actually a very strong sigma withdrawing molecule. Now, if you look at the electron withdrawing capability of this CF3, it is just in between fluorine and chlorine. By the way, fluorine is actually the most electronegative element. Chlorine, okay, fine, three electronegativity value. So CF3 is in between, so you can understand it's a very strong electron withdrawing group. Not only that, if you look at this fluorobenzene or chlorobenzene, any one of these, actually this fluorine or chlorine, they are orthopara orienting, but deactivating means you can expect that sir it will push this electron density here it will open up so in this way it will result the extra electron density in ortho and para that is the reason why this halobenzene shows aromatic electrophilic substitution at ortho and para position by the way remember they are ortho para orienting but deactivating because of the stronger electron withdrawing or minus i effect means two effect works opposite direction. This donation, this resonance means plus R effect and the higher electronegativity of this halogen results in a sigma withdrawing group from this carbon halogen bond. So that indicated by minus I effect and in this case minus I effect is dominated over the plus R effect. But since they are ortho para orienting, so if you do the aromatic electrophilic substitution or nitration on fluorobenzene, you will get ortho and para substituted product. Same thing is true for chlorobenzene also. But CF3 doesn't show any plus R effect. It has only minus I effect. That's why it results selectively this nitro product at the meta position. Okay. So this is actually a very important concept. I think you should remember. Now, what is the major product of this reaction? Obviously, this is meta isomer. Now, if you look at all options, this is ortho substitution in aromatic electrophilic substitution. This is para substitution. This is meta substitution. And by the way, this is called ipso substitution. So if you get this question, remember one thing, CF3, very strong electron withdrawing group. I mean, sigma withdrawing minus I effect. 
so that's why it results in any kind of aromatic electrophilic substitution at the beta position so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye, -bye.